Hi guys, welcome to Studio Wildlife. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I paint a lion on Procreate. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Right there, it means so much to us. Anyway, let's get started. I want to start by saying that these techniques will work not just with digital painting, but with traditional painting as well with oils and acrylics. So I start by blocking in by using as big a brush as I feel comfortable with and again you can use this same technique with acrylics or oil paints. All I'm using are the wet and dry acrylic brushes for this process so far. I want to first block in the basic shapes, getting gradually darker and darker but never using pure black. As you can see this brush is a little bit smaller than the first one I used to block in. I tend to work bigger brushes first and then work with smaller brushes afterwards. I really like painting digitally, especially with my iPad and Procreate because it's so easy to just alter my composition and sizing. I can flip it around and look for things that I've done wrong and it just makes that whole process for sketching and planning painting so much easier. Once I've got a basic dark layer in, I start to build up the form a little bit more by adding some lighter layers on top using a mid-sized brush. Then I refine the drawing a little bit more with a smaller brush, going darker each time. I found this reference photo on Pixabay. I didn't stick to it too closely. I made up a lot, quite a lot of it, like the eyes and fur and composition was slightly different. I did that myself, just because I didn't fancy copying the photo exactly. Once I've got the dark layers in, I begin to build up the layers of lighter fur on top. Again, I use the same process with my real traditional paintings. So with my acrylics and my oil paints, I work from dark to light, just the same as I do traditionally. If you want to learn more about how I paint my fur, I've just put a video up showing a detailed walkthrough on how I paint tiger fur, but the same principles can be used for any animal. So go and check that out. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Once I've got that first layer in, I start to build up even more detailed hair, again just using that small wet acrylic brush. I absolutely love the Apple Pen for this because I can apply different pressures and give different size strokes. It makes for painting fur digitally it's so fantastic. I just continue to build up the painting like this, just working gradually lighter and lighter with gradually smaller and smaller brushes until I'm happy with the final outcome, or at least the final outcome of this stage. I just use that small brush to build up those lighter layers on top of the darker ones.
Now finish off by refining the nose and the eyes. Then a final layer of my whitest highlights. This is not actually pure white, it's just a very light grey. Never use pure white in your wildlife paintings, you don't often see pure white in nature. To finish it off, I add a splash of colour to the eyes because I want them to look full of life, I want them to look bright and really glowing. For the highlights of the eye, I use a bit of blue first and then follow it up with a touch of a very light grey and then I just pink off the nose to give it a little bit more colour because just the eyes on their own didn't really look too good. Then because I wanted to abstract this piece up a little bit more, I added those splashes of colour little rolls of paint which in a real painting I would just splatter it on and use an ink roller to do that effect. Then I finish it off completely by adding the whiskers. I use little bits of black first to show the black whiskers and then white over the top. So here it is, the finished piece. I will be turning this into a real or a traditional painting at some point. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching and make sure to head over to studiowildlife.com for more wildlife art tips.